Hello everyone, it's Kathy with Paper Phenomenon. I'm here to show you a new project, demo a new project for you guys that we did that you can find in the Journal Jam SVG file bundle. And I'll link you down below to that. So let's grab the file. Uh, so I'm going to upload this to my mat. The purpose of this video is to show you how to create a mat for the base of the project. Okay. And Cricut or Design Space has this nifty little tool here. By the way, these are all the new files that have been added. All right, really fun, fun, fun things. Um, so stay tuned for more fun things. I love the literally the paper clips. Love them. So cute. I can't wait to use them. All right, but what we're using right now is the foldable envelope. This one and this one. It's a two file piece you get two files for this right you assemble them all so we add them to our mat you want to verify that the size is correct okay i can immediately tell that mine is fine mine transferred over to my mat to the pro to the appropriate size uh, but you always want to check the excel file you'll see that with all of your svg files there's an excel file that tells you what size it should be okay so you can resize this if you want to. This is actually an easy resize. Let's say if you go up uh, on this side by one inch, you wanna go on this side by one inch, all right? But let's leave it the way it is, that's for another video. But what I wanna show you is this nifty, nifty little uh, function that Design Space has, which is called the offset, I guess, tool. All right, so here's my mouse, straight up offset. So you're going to select your, your grouping of, Im, of images. You're going to hit offset and you're going to see that immediately it creates, it defaults to a, a positive mat, meaning it's larger than your image. All right. And it defaults to a quarter of an inch. Now, what you want to do is make it smaller, right? We like to mat a quarter of an inch smaller than our then our piece, right? So all you have to do is press uh, minus 0 0.25 and that'll give you the perfect mat, okay? Uh, I personally like the uh, minus 0 0.167 because it's a little bit it's a little larger, so you get more you get more pattern paper, right, than black. So ideally, I like the 167. So now you have your mats for there. Once you select your size and you're happy with it, you must hit apply, and you'll see that it turns gray. So this is your mat right here, okay? Now you wanna select the next grouping of images and you want to do the same thing. The uh, design space is intuitive, so it knows that you pick the minus zero one, uh, the minus zero point one six seven on the left hand side, so it automatically picks it for you on the right hand side. Okay, so now you hit apply, you have your mats right here. Okay, I personally like to ungroup everything because. I think you can ungroup after you do this. Oh, you can't, sorry. Well, you have to ungroup beforehand and I'll show you how to do that too. Let's say this is what you want. We're ready to rock and roll. You wanna make it, okay? So now it puts everything that's black on black mats and it always tries to maximize the space. The black would be your base and then the gray would be your pattern paper. All right, and this is actually not too bad where you can uh, cut your pattern paper. Hmm. Like I would, what I would like to do is be able to move this down, it, move each individual piece down a little bit so I can cut everything out at one time if I wanna use different pattern papers. So let me show you how to do that. So let's cancel. All right, I'm gonna get a new mat. We're gonna start from the beginning. Replace. We are going to grab our images view all, get over here, pick the same foldable uh, envelope file, add it to my canvas. We're gonna verify that everything is lining up, that it matches your Excel file, mine does. 
right? To have the ability to move your images individually around on your mat, you have to ungroup things. But you ungroup them after you verify that the measurements are correct. That is so important, okay? So I just ungrouped one set of images just to keep things, you know, nice and orderly. So you pick the first image and you hit your offset. And you want to do the measurement that you like, right? Whatever the mat size that you want. And I always like to go for my 167. And I try to get as close as to it as possible because I can't, manage that uh that uh that little slidey thing over there so there you have your mat pick the next one remember uh design space is intuitive so it's going to pick it automatic automatically for you for the next file apply so now we're on to the second group we ungroup the images and we do the same thing all right one six seven boom boom 167 and you have your mats okay there you go and now you hit make it if you want to cut several of these you come up here to the left hand side and you know pick four or five copies however many you want to cut uh, but we're just doing one today and see how you can move each image around these two images I'm going to cut out of the same pattern paper so I can leave them close to maximize my paper, right? To save paper. This, however, I want to cut three different pattern papers. So actually two different pattern papers. So I will move these two close to each other. That way I only have to cut at six and a half. And then move that one up a little bit. And then this one, I'll leave it up there and I just have to cut at four, four by seven. Here would be uh, eight by eight, all right? Or seven by eight, seven by eight would be perfect for these two. And then you wanna arrange everything else. So my pattern paper here, oh, I did that wrong, I'm sorry. Cardstock, black, doesn't matter, leave them close together, right? This is the base, what a dork. So leave them together. This, um, this is my cardstock. Now for my mats, my pattern paper, these are gonna be the same pattern paper, but these down here are gonna be different pattern paper. So I'm going to move that down. These two will be cut out of the same pattern paper. And then this one, I'm gonna cut out of a different pattern paper. So what I would do is for the top, I will cut a three and a half piece by seven. And for the bottom, I would cut a six piece by eight. And that way I just slap them both on the mat and then, all right. So um, I will see you in a minute. We're gonna cut these out and we shall assemble. Actually going to do this off camera, but why not just share this with you? So I had already cut out my cardstock pieces, okay? And I cut several of these out. I think I cut five sets. And I like to have them handy so I can use them with all sorts of different papers, right? So then I cut my mats out when I'm going to actually use it. So I'm using my Hawaii Hula collection. And these are the three papers that I chose. So now I'm going to cut them out to the size I need, right? So for this mat right here, this first mat, you can't see it. But it's the first mat. I can actually change the camera view so you can see it. Hold on. Desktop. And I'm going to cut this out at, I always, again, refer back to my mat. And all I need is seven inches. So I'm going to cut out at seven inches. 
Okay, so I have this wonderful piece here. I would place this on my mat. My mat is not so sticky. You know, it's been used a lot. So what I like to do is use my my large bone folder bone folder. This is the six inch bone folder from bonefolder.com. And it's this one right here. I don't get a nickel from this store, guys. I just love their products. So I like to share that with you guys. And it really I really get a good stick, as you can see, <laughs> versus using just your hand. Okay, so now I'm gonna throw this in my Cricut and I'm gonna have it cut out. So I'm gonna play some elevator music for you right now <laughs> while this cuts. I'm kidding, no elevator music. Uh, in the meantime, I'll share with you my gorgeous Hawaii hula collection. Uh, it's got so many beautiful embellishments. I've already cut these out. The ones that you didn't see are these right here because for some reason I didn't add them to the to the mood boards when I posted, but you get all of these fabulous embellishments, gorgeous, gorgeous papers. And what I love again about digital is that if you're not gonna use every single embellishment, you don't have to print it. You do not, you print what you want, okay? So I've been cutting these out and they've been so much fun to cut. Right now I'm cutting out, I'm cutting out my luggage tags. All right, so it's, they're so cute. Look at this, look at this, how adorable. All right, enough. This cut off, this stop cutting. So here I have my, whoopsie, look at how well that sticks, right? Which highly annoys me, by the way, when that happens. But I rather have to peel it off than for my paper to shift all over the place. And then I have to recut again. So if you use your tool, it normally works out beautifully, but who uses the tool all the time, right? I know I don't, but you may wanna use your tool and I will cut this out, cut this out, cause I will use this for something. This is still good. All right, so let's peel that off the mat. And this is that this mat is not so sticky, but when you use that, that tool, OMG, super sticky. All right, so now I have three things, three different, uh, yeah, two different pattern papers that I wanna use. So for the top, I would like this floral. So I'm gonna cut this at four inches because I know that's what I need. And all I need is by seven. So I want most of this floral right here, this side. So I'm doing that. And then for my other two pieces, I'm doing this piece. So all I need is an eight inch piece by eight. And I will cut that. I will stick this onto my mat. You know exactly the way it needs to go. I will burnish. And let's cut. Shall we do some more elevator music? <laughs> I'm such a dork. Don't listen to me. All right, I need a camera 360 degrees in my room various cameras, right, to show you absolutely everything. But, you know, we don't have that. All right, so Hawaii Hula. Check out these drinks that you get in this collection. I laminated these already. I have to cut them out. And the embellishments are so amazing. Absolutely amazing, guys. I am in love with this collection. Look at these. Look at these. I just love it. And it doesn't have to be for ho a Hawaii trip. You can, any tropical uh, trip would be perfect. But of course, if you went to Hawaii, I mean, amazing. You absolutely want to document that. And we've got fruits. We got all sorts of fun things. Look at this uh, Volkswagen. I think this is a Volkswagen. I call it the Scooby-Doo van. I forget what it's called. Scooby-Doo van. And just check it out, guys. Look at how beautiful. All right. It also comes with a, 
your transparency sheet so we can cut those out and adorn our pro Oop, my birdie get the birdie adorn your projects and yeah that's it let's look at the what cut out let's assemble the pocket all right i put everything in file folders to keep everything nice and tidy and then i put them in a regular file folder holder because i work with multiple collections i work on multiple projects at the same time you know in one week i could be working on three different projects all right let me go back to my camera to see what i got going on here all right so now let's peel this off see what we got here And this looks nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Get out of here. And then over here, let's see what we've got. I like it. I like it a lot. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. So there's one little hiccup with uh, this offset. Uh, function all right and that hiccup is that it's going to offset your mat even with your flaps okay so let me show you what I'm talking about let me grab my pieces for the file that we're going to work on right now so we've got this and now here's our file and these are the base pieces so if you look it it offset everything including your flaps we don't want that, right? We do not need that. So you just have to trim around that. And usually it's a quarter of an inch trim, but we shall see and I'll show you. But the fact that we have this is fabulous. The fact that we have this is fabulous. I can't get that uh, perfect cut like that for something like this. Angles all day long, right? But not this thing. It's always jagged with my scissors. It's never perfect. So that's why I shy away from this particular uh design so let me grab some tape so we can assemble this fabulous little number here and again this is in your svg journal jam svg bundle there's so many goodies in there guys so many and as you can see this is not journal jam this is not a journal jam paper but i'm using it for this hawaii hula project that we're going to work on all right and coincidentally it's going to be uh, this friday my class okay this friday is my class and we're going to work on a uh the beach bag project but we're remixing it into a just an album it's no longer going to be a beach bag so it's at 7 p.m central be sure to join me so we can hang out and craft whoopsie this way So it's lots of fun. We have a lot of fun. It's not just boring, watch me put my tape on my paper. All right. <laughs> we have a lot of fun. All right. So this has to be scored, right? We scored on three sides. This one does not have to be scored. This one has to be scored. And you know what has to be scored because it's tapered already for you. Okay. So that's the beauty of it all. It's tapered. So that means score, score, score. And the score line is at a half inch. And who's to say you cannot make this manually? You can. I can make this manually, but the, this I cannot get manually. Not perfect. And that's what I want. I want to be able to give you guys all sorts of different looks instead of the straight, you know, the straight cut look, angle cut. I don't want that. All right. So this one is perfect, but this one's actually for here. Okay, so we have to cut this one exactly the same. All right, so I like to get a measurement, and this is easy because we just have to cut the half inch strip off. Okay, that's it. You can see the angle, right? You don't want to add the bulk to the file, so don't ever do that. So we cut off the half inch strip, and I think it was four and an eighth, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just measure again. I don't want to screw it up. Yep. Let me check here. I see this one's four and a half, so I want four and a quarter. And again, look, just removing that half inch strip. 
See that? Let's verify. Whoopsie. Perfect mat once again. Perfect mat once again. Now here, the same deal, guys. This one you have to do nothing to. Look at how perfect. Which, by the way, you have to cut two of these out. I totally missed that. My bad. But I can always go back and cut it. No biggie. Now this one, again, you're just simply cutting off the half inch strips. So you start with one half inch strip first, and then you measure, right? You always want to measure. Beautiful. And here, so um, I think the right measurement for you not to have to make an adjustment on this side is three eighths of an inch on each side. But here, I'm just gonna cut off three eighths of an inch, okay? For me, it's you know very simple to, to, to figure these things out, but it may not be for you, and I want you guys to have a good time doing this. Uh-oh, somebody's calling me. Forgive me. All right, so now we have this side, and we'll have to cut the bottom off. All right, look at that, how perfect that is. And if you look right here, you can see that all you have to cut off is 3 eighths of an inch. Okay, so this is a quarter. Here's 3 eighths of an inch. And now you know for this one, right? And the next one, you're going to do it exactly the same. All right, so let's do this one. I'm going to do this at 3 eighths of an inch to see if I was right for you guys. One. So all at 3 eighths of an inch. All right, let's check it out. Yep, all at 3 eighths of an inch and you have a perfect mat, okay? And now let's assemble. So let's put all our mats to the side because we have to ink those up. So I love that offset feature on, on uh, design space. I think it's so, so smart. All right, guys. So we want, by the way, tape on the bumpy side, okay? So you want this here, okay? tape on the bumpy side forgive me for not saying that to you all I know you like that little instruction alrighty and that goes there open this one goes at the top and I like to do it this way so I line everything up beautifully perfectly all right, this one goes at the top, and now these go one on the bottom and one in the center. And how cute is this? If I would have made this by hand with you guys, we would have a, you know, rounded corners. But the fact that we can do this on our machines, we have this fun little look. And we can do all sorts of same, same folder, same, sorry, same envelope, double envelope here, but with a different top, right? Could do all sorts of different things. And maybe I'll add a few more into the project folder and you can pick whichever one you want. You can have some Christmas looking ones. You know, I mean, the possibilities are endless, guys. This is such a great buy on my website that you will not regret it. If you like to use your machine, right? If you know how to use your machine, yes. If you don't, you may get frustrated, right? So here it is. Look how cute. And a little uh, magnet if you want to or whatever you want, right? How cute is that? So now let's put our pattern paper. Uh, where's my ink? All right. So play some elevator music in your head while I ink this up. All right. I'll be quick. You can do a magnet or you can do the the button, the string and button closure, the policy style closure, policy envelope style closure. I love that look. I never tire. Ooh, it's time for a new glue, guys. Makes me excited when I have to crack open a new glue. OK. 
Okay, so here's this piece right here. How gorgeous. And now this side, and by the way, you have to do the same thing for the back, but you can cut that manually, okay? No biggie. Let's do this one. Let's just do them all, right? All right, just about done here. Give it that little zhuzh that it needs with the inking. I'm telling you, whoever did the inking the very first time, genius. All right. This will go on forever. Genius, genius, genius. This person gets no credit, I tell you, for the inking. <laughs> because it's just so smart. So smart. And of course, somebody has to do it first before it catches on. There's always... The first person, always. There's always an original. So kudos, I'm going to say to her, because it's got to be a woman. All right? It's got to be. There's no way it's not a woman. <laughs> I'm probably wrong. All right, here we go. Let's stick this on. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I love it when everything works out so perfectly. I just do. That goes in here. There's two different sizes, so let me just make sure. Yes, okay. The ones for the back, once again, you can cut manually, but being that I have to go back to cut this one, so I'm just gonna cut them out again. And do that. How pretty. And I'll be back with a lot more of these videos on assembling the the pieces from uh, the Journal Jam SVG file bundle. All right, I'll be back with more. Okay, beautiful. And this one. And over here, get that in there properly. And look at how fun is this piece. I love it. I may have to, yeah, there we go. You always want to re, rescore when you have a piece that layers up like this. See that? And then it's perfect. How beautiful is that? Well, that's one of your pieces, one of the projects in the SVG file bundle. Uh, join me on Friday, guys or tomorrow, 7 p.m. Central, we're gonna start a brand new project. Pick up the Hawaii Hula Collection if you want to work alongside me. And we're also using a, which one are we using? I think it's Mint, Minty, Minty or Minte. I never pronounce the names right, so forgive me. Let me see, let me see, let me see. For Remix, I, this is the collection that we're using right here. I think it's the Minte one. I think that's the one I ordered. Because I know I did two 49 and Market collections and one of those. But let me just double check. Because there's some paper clips in there. Um, hmm. I, yeah, I think that's it because I don't see the other one. I do not. All right, fabulous. So it's this one that we're using. So we're using this one by Minte. And if you want a paper pack, get this. If you like digital collections, get the Hawaii Hula. All right, but let's support another paper manufacturer. I think this is Darling. So let's get ready to craft Friday, 7 p.m. Central. See you on YouTube. Hello there everyone. I'm here presenting a brand new paper collection by Paper Phenomenon. It's called Hawaii Hula. This is available in a 12 by 12 collection and an eight and a half by 11 collection. Remember these are digital files so you will have to download these and print them yourself but they are so gorgeous. It's worth 
worth having your printer, your paper, your ink, and getting these printed out for yourself. Remember, you'll have these forever, and you will also be able to print out as many sheets of one particular uh, pattern paper that you love. Uh, check out. Be sure to check out the project, the exclusive project I made for this paper collection. It's called How Was Your Trip? And it's also in my shop right now. I want to remind you all that right now it's June 7th. Yesterday, I believe my semi-annual sale started and that is 50% off everything in my shop. You don't need a discount code. So please head on over there and pick up your favorites. Just sit back and look at the rest of this because it is something to see. There are so many embellishments and so many amazing pieces in this collection. You are going to love it. Hawaii Hula by Paper Phenomenon. This is...